What's up guys, DVFs here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a portfolio as a graphic designer. So for this video, we're going to be using Weebly. I feel like Weebly is the best one for this because you can customize a lot of different things and best of all, it's free. So you just want to open up your browser and go to Weebly.com. Now just click on sign up and then you can sign up with Facebook or Gmail or just sign up with your email. I already have an account so I'll just log in. Now once you've signed up you'll come to this page. Now from here you just need to select what type of website you're creating. So for us it's going to be a portfolio. So we're just going to select that and then click on continue. Then it's going to ask the name of your website. So we'll just name it TV apps portfolio and then just click on continue. Now it's going to ask you to select the theme. So just have a look at the themes and select one that you like. And I'm just going to select this first one because it looks simple and it still looks good. So we're just going to click on start editing. So it's pretty basic. All you have to do is just click on it and then just click on replace image. Now to select an image from your computer. So let's just select this thumbnail. So there we go. So as you can see, it's a bit out of proportion. But obviously, if you're a graphics designer, you know what the res resolution is and stuff. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the other photos. So I'll just speed it up for you guys. So there we go. We have all our images. Now you can put as many as you want. And you can put anything. So obviously put your best graphics because it is your portfolio. Now we can just move on to the about page. Now here we're just going to firstly drag a title. And then we'll just call this about. And then we'll just add some text to it. And then you can just type anything that you want here. So just fill this out with what you want. Now let's move on to the contacts page. Now here we're just going to drag a contact form. So for the title we'll just put contact me. And then you can edit this if you want but it looks pretty good so I'll just click on save. Now I'm also going to add some text. So we'll just go down to the bottom here and add some text. Now here you can just put your social media stuff. So I'll just put check out my YouTube channel and I'll just put a link to it here. And if you want, you can put anything here. It's all up to you. And say, for example, you don't want the contact page. You can just go over to pages over here and then just click on this and then click on delete. Now we can also do is add some pages or if you want, rearrange them. It's all up to you how you want it because it is your website. And you can do anything you want with it. Now, once you're ready to publish it, just click on publish. And then it's going to ask you what kind of domain you want. So if you already have a domain, you can just type it in over here. If you want to register a new domain, you can type it in over here. If you want a free domain, you can get a subdomain from Weebly.com. So you can put anything you want over here. I already have a dvapps.weebly.com website. So I'll just think of something else. So I couldn't think of anything else. So I just put some random letters there and then just click on continue. And there we go. Now you can just share your website and click on the link and you can go to it. And there we go. Just a few things I need to fix up here. And if you want, you can just click on them and it makes it bigger. And then you can just click on the about page and also contact. And there you go. You have your own website now. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's see if you can hit 7 likes on this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.